Hi, I'm Carlo Piccinini, and this is my uh, physics project for Mr. Barton's class on my LAR 15 by Rock River 5.56 millimeter. So, how it relates to physics? Well, it all starts with the shell. See, you have the firing pin. The firing pin. Eh. <laughs> the firing pin hits the primer, which ignites the gunpowder. It's a soft the chain reaction of it going down through the barrel, but as it passes through here, it catches the gases and goes, I don't know if you can see it, this silver tube, and then it goes through the tube and then gets to the bolt and forces the bolt back, which ejects the shell and cycles the next shell. And it, the bolt moves by using this spring, and you move the bolt with the charging handle. So, how it puts together, so, spring goes back here, get back there. Firing pin goes in the bolt, a little trick, funnel it in. Put the firing pin in, I just don't do it. <laughs> there you go. Bolt goes in, lead it in, close it up. Okay, and to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I will do a test shot. Okay. Yeah, this is just a test shot to show you what I'm talking about. So what we are going to be shooting at today, it's a nice solid gourd, we're going to be shooting the subsonic round, it's a 63 grain, and it will go less than the speed of sound so you won't hear what is coming known as the rifle crack, shouldn't create as much damage. Now with the pumpkin here, we're going to be shooting a 55 grain FMJ round, which you will hear the rifle crack because it goes faster than the speed of sound, it goes about 3,000 feet per second. Okay, so we're going to be using the subsonic round and I'm going to be aiming at that gourd. Okay, so we just did our shot at our gourd and as you can see, did a clean entry hole here like it's supposed to. Just check out the back. Looks like it did a little fragmentation and tumbled inside and it continued into the dirt hill for quite some time. Now that's the soft point, not the FMJ. Now we're going to be using the FMJ 55 grain full metal jacket on the pumpkin. Let's see how it differs. Okay, so this is the pumpkin we shot the FMJ. As you can nicely clearly see, made a nice big hole. Check out the back. Much bigger devastation than that little soft point subsonic, and even split the rock in half and continued into the dirt hill. Okay, so we're going to be doing our final shot, but now we're going to take the silencer off to show you what it actually does. Silencer actually does suppress the bang, but not the rifle crack. Oh, smoky and warm. Okay, so now we're going to be using the subsonic on the gourd again, but this time no silencer. Let's see the sound difference. So we shot the gourd without the so silencer with the subsonic. So you have that nice hole right there. Let's check out the back. That's the first shot. So on the second subsonic, it looks like it did some more tumbling and came out a little sideways. A little bit bigger hole.
You called, you called bloopers! Drive by! Drive by! Drive by part two!